I would say that uh, Dubai Expo 2020 is the first real opportunity for the entire global community, for them to interact, for them to trade, for them to invest, and for them to identify new opportunities that happened within the COVID pandemic. That's from uh, 2020, as we are aware, they, we were struck with COVID. And this is basically the first real interaction where buyers and sellers meet, where investors and prospectors meet, and where also enthusiasts, people want to understand and appreciate what are the destinations for tourists also meet. And most importantly, people share experiences on innovations and other developments that have taken place within uh, this particular period. So this is very important for Kenya, because Kenya is one of the 192 countries that are participating in Expo 2020 Dubai. And for Kenya, this poses an immediate, what I would call an immediate within uh, probably the first uh, one year between the Expo. We anticipate that we are going to have opportunities worth about uh, 1.5 US billion dollars. And for me, that's a huge opportunity for the country because it means more jobs, more jobs created for people, much more investments coming in, and also better lives for everybody in Kenya. So this is a real opportunity for Kenya, and Kenya is really glad to be part of this and show, to showcase herself and the opportunities and the potential to the global community. I would say there are key markets. As we understand as a marketer and someone who has products to sell, somebody who wants investments, we would say we are targeting everybody. But again, you can't get everybody at the same time. You have to decide where do you focus your energies on. So as a country, we have 22 key markets. That is a part of our strategic orientation from the export orientation. We, that is from 2019 to 2022. We have identified 22 key markets who we want to target. But most important for now, I would start that say that uh, the entire United Arab Emirates and the Gulf Council of, uh, Council of Countries, the GCC region, is our key market. So when you look at Bahrain, look at uh, Dubai, that is the, the UAE, uh, Qatar, then Oman, and then and other basically other countries within this region, including Kuwait. All this is the potential that we are talking about. That uh, for us, Middle East is actually a key market. The Middle East and the Gulf region is one of the key markets. We are also looking at the key markets in terms of regions that is, uh, in, the, uh, that is uh, in Europe. Those are some of our key markets. Other key markets are in the Far East. We are looking at China, we are looking at Japan. And we cannot forget that uh, uh, following the implementation of the African continental free trade area, also Africa becomes a key market, especially when you look at the re regional economic blocks. That is the East African community, the Comesa region, the ECOWAS. So we would say that uh, basically we are focusing on, on everybody, but we have identified 22 key countries within those sectors that I've really pointed out.